It's the last week of Hispanic Heritage Month, and as we get closer to Halloween, people will be looking to show off their costumes. Well, right now, universities in Ohio are working to make sure their students are well informed on how their costume choice could impact their peers. It's why we talk with educators to explain the difference between cultural appreciation and appropriation. Most people do not do it in order to hurt somebody, right? They just do it because, oh, it's like, oh, I like that. I want to wear it, but they don't understand the meaning of it or the significance of it to those cultures. Despite well intentions, educators at Ohio University say it's important to recognize the true meaning behind the costumes you choose. Some cultural practices, symbols, and clothing are not meant to be used for fun. So as an educational institution, our goal is to first of all educate our students so they understand the meaning of those symbols. The costume conversation kicked off in 2011 after a group of Ohio University students launched the We're a Culture, Not a Costume campaign. Now the university is touting a spinoff initiative titled Make Respect Visible. It's everybody's responsibility um, if they see bias happening on campus to, to, to say something, to call people out or to call people in. These posters are now on the walls of universities in Ohio and across the nation, showing examples of costumes deemed inappropriate. During Halloween, and some people for fun will, you know, take headdresses from the Native American culture. You know, some people would, you know, paint their face in a particular way or just put in clothes without understanding the religious significance of those in, the, in that culture. Well, 10 TV wants to see your appropriate Halloween costumes. You can submit them by going to the 10 TV app and clicking the near me button. Send in photos of the kids, the pets, yourself. We like to see them all. And you may see those photos on later editions of our newscast.